Hey guys, welcome to Strictly Dumpling, and it's dumpling news time. In the past few years, there has been a lot of negative attention on Chinese tourists, with the most infamous instance being the 15-year-old Chinese boy that scratched his name into a 3,500-year-old temple in Egypt. Now, this isn't just the media blowing things out of proportion. Even the Chinese government thinks this is an issue. So here's what they did to try to resolve it. The Chinese government created a travel guide called the Guidebook for for civilized tourism. Now, this is an official government-issued guide for all Chinese tourists. I can say this, if your government issues a guide like this, you know you got some problems. Now, the worst thing is that if what this guide is trying to prevent is actually what Chinese tourists are doing on a regular basis around the world, and you have to assume that is the case, else why would such a guide exist? Then this is pretty bad and embarrassing for all Chinese people. So anyway, this is a really long guide, so I picked out some of the key points. Here you go. Use the words please, Thank you and sorry. Don't spit your gum or hack loogies everywhere. By the way, do people still use loogies? And if you don't know what loogies are, look it up, but not while you are eating. Don't pick your nose, teeth, or sneeze in front of people. Don't smoke in non-smoking areas. Don't take pictures in areas where taking pictures is not allowed. Do not leave footprints on the toilet seat. Don't write, touch, or climb on artifacts, historical sites, statues, art, etc. Don't physically force people to take pictures with you. It's embarrassing to cut in line. This is not acceptable anywhere. Don't be loud in public areas and do not randomly take off shoes and socks. Wear appropriate clothing in public. Do not expose your chest and stomach. Don't waste food at buffets. Don't stop and chat when crossing the street or in the middle of a sidewalk. Protect the environment. When scuba diving or snorkeling anywhere in the world, do not catch or take sea creatures. Don't chase or feed animals. When attending a performance, respect the performers on stage. If they make a mistake, forgive them. Do not scream, whistle, or holler insults at them. When you're on a plane, do not take off your shoes, stick your feet under other people's seat, and spread horrible foot odor. When you're on a plane, don't steal the blanket, pillow, or life jacket. When you're on a plane, don't shove a whole loaf of bread in your mouth, make loud slurpy noises when eating noodles, and don't take the silverware after meals. In public, practice basic manners and do not burp, fart, or pick your nose. Do not forcibly shake a woman's hand when she is not offering a handshake. Do not kiss her on the cheek to say hello. Do not ask other people their age, income, or marital status. Do not squat everywhere. Do not go to the bathroom in public or curse at the locals. While in a hotel, do not use the coffee maker to cook instant noodles. Do not use bed sheets or towels to clean your shoes. Do not wash your underwear and put it on the lampshade. Do not pee in the pool. While on the beach, do not take other people's umbrellas. Do not stare at attractive people of the opposite gender for long periods of time. Other snippets of advice were country specific. The guide warned Chinese visitors to Germany to only snap their fingers at dogs, not people. And that women in Spain should always wear earrings in public or be considered effectively naked. And this guide, of course, goes on and on and on. And those are just some of the points that I picked out for you guys. Now, the scary thing is that most of these things mentioned in the guide, of course, is common sense. I mean, don't steal life jackets off planes or don't force someone to take a picture with you. And it's scary that you have to write a whole guide to educate people about this. So to my fellow Chinese people, if any of these apply to you, Stop doing it. Why are you forcing people to take pictures with you? Stop eating everything you find at the ocean. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this travel guide in the comments below. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Facebook. I'll see you again next week.